Finally, a concrete reason why Xbox Flighting has been delayed so many times for the MCC, a preview into Flight 3 when it comes to these updates, and some oh so very nice ultra wide screenshots of Halo Reach on PC, as well as an update to the information for the MCC file share details for console players and PC players. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news informational update video when it comes to Halo. If you guys like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what you guys thoughts are on the video as well. And maybe if you're Xbox players, you probably finally get some actual information why the delays are happening. And if you're new to the channel, wants to stay up to date with anything going on with Halo, that's Halo Infinite, MCC, Halo 5, hit the halo tv show everything in between make sure to tap subscribe guys because it keeps you up to date with everything going on with uh with halo and on the channel as well so let's get right into the video here so let's start off with this mcc file transfer as it's kind of information we've already gone over but just kind of a recap kind of thing with some extra little details of, of specifics here so they're calling this the legacy content migration or mcc file transfer for the uh, whichever one you want to call it that. So if you hear those two terms, that's what we're talking about here. If you guys don't know what this is, this is a one time transfer for your game modes and your maps that you have on the Xbox 360 versions of Halo 3, Halo Reach and Halo 4 to be brought over to the MCC. The reason why it's a one time transfer is really just because of the technical difficulties going into this. And so what they're going to do is separate out the game types for one day and the maps for another day just so people can maximize their file share content so they can transfer that over and uh, you guys be able to play it on the new MCC update. So the first transfer is going to happen on August 12th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's going to be your game types. So you want to just load up your file share with all your game types at least 24 hours before that transfer. And then you want to give it at least 24 hours as well once that transfer actually happens before removing your game modes. I mean, obviously, it's uh, the first date is on the 12th. The next one's on the 26th. So it's not too much of a rush for you guys to try to do that. And uh, so yeah, you want to get into Halo 3, Halo 4, and Halo Reach. Load up your game types. That transfer will happen on August 12th, and then the, on August 26th, a couple like a week or two later, then you'll have your maps on the same time as well at 10 a.m. So again, make sure your maps are loaded up into your file shares uh, at least 24 hours in advance. Wait at least 24 hours for that after that transfer happens, so then make sure that your maps transfer over successfully. Now this file transfer will happen for every Xbox Live account, so you need to have one of those if you're going to get this transfer going for you guys right here. And also just keep in mind that locally saved content will not be transferred over, as in if your map or game mode is saved to I think just that Xbox, and it's not in the file share, it's not getting transferred over, so just be very clear on that. So there is a bit of a thing though when it comes to the PC players here that uh, if you don't have an Xbox, things might be a little tricky for you. And I'm gonna read exactly what is written in the post just to make sure that we're all clear on this. It says players on PC will not be able to transfer maps and modes from legacy to PC, but they can access that content via file shares of anyone on MCC from either consoles or PCs. This transfer of content though will only be possible for legacy titles to players that launch MCC on Xbox One. So if you're a PC player or looking to play on PC, get this file transfer done first, you need to load up your account on Xbox One. Now, uh, there's many ways you can go about doing that. I would suggest uh, asking people around, go on Reddit, because uh, Obviously, I'm not too super expert on when it comes to sharing your information on different Xboxes. Maybe that might work, uh, but you need to have an Xbox One to load into it at least once so then your file share will populate. So now some concrete reasons we finally got why Xbox has not been invited to these flighting programs so far for Halo Reach. Obviously we had Flight 1 for PC, it was just the campaign mission tip of the spear and it's looking like Flight 2 here is going to be what's coined as Fire Flight. Huh. 
the jokes I tell you. But this is also going to be just a PC only flight. And so uh, I've seen a lot of comments on your guys on my videos here going well, Xbox players being like, why are we not involved with this? Well, mainly because it creates a lot of extra work, but also that they actually have had some issues with the Xbox version uh, or the original Xbox One version of MCC when it comes to these updates. Uh, mainly because of they're using the Unreal 4 engine to uh, make these character customizations that you've seen like in Reach. Remember like in Reach when you're customizing your armor, you can see your character kind of moving around and stuff like that. Or they're using the Unreal 4 engine for this new one so you get a much more high res, much more detailed, much beautiful, more beautiful looking version of it. I've seen screenshots and it looks phenomenal. And apparently that's been running into a bit of an issue with the original Xbox One as the MCC right now is already pushing the memory limits for the original Xbox One consoles. And also keep in mind that since they're also looking to add an entire progression system as well, that that also takes up memory. And so they're also try not only trying to fix the issue right now, but fix the issue in the future so they can just add in the progression system without overloading the original Xbox One consoles. Because I still use an original Xbox One. I know a lot of people still do. And uh, you basically, when it comes to coding and testing out things, you got to go for the lowest common denominator that is the original Xbox One consoles. So that's why there's been a bit of a snag on this whole thing. At, uh, basically using the Unreal 4 engine has been really using up a lot of memory. So the team's been doing a lot of work on just trying to make sure that uh, they can free that space up or utilize it in different ways. Very tedious work. I am sure. Uh, they also say that it's still not within memory constraints to properly run on Xbox Ones right now at the moment, but they're getting pretty close to it. And I know I mentioned in my previous update video talking about how there was a rough time frame of the second flight for PC or firefight happening at the end of July. Well, by the time of posting this video, it's August 1st and July's passed. So uh, apparently there's still a bit more bugs and this also in this uh, dev update, uh, they did show quite a few bugs that I thought were pretty funny, honestly, to watch. I might even make a compliment, compilation video of them because it's just pretty funny to see all the issues that just randomly just come up from just bringing the game to PC and MCC essentially but in this update they don't give a definitive date when it comes to it but they just say it's kind of coming close but not you know close enough to where it can give you a time frame but uh it's getting close basically and basically the the typical mantra that 343 has been giving us when it comes to this update is that it's ready when it's ready but also one thing i really wanted to show you guys is um i've never really been interested at all again in an ultra wide monitor i find it's kind of clunky takes up a lot of space and if you're going to play games on it the fov just looks really weird i've never really wanted to do it and oh my god that looks amazing i've never had any interest to get an ultra wide monitor but after looking at what reach looks like on an ultra wide playing the campaign on that would be pretty dang amazing. Uh, you can show, also show that what they were working on is working on with the UI that uh, on the first image here, they so can see the UI is just completely small off to the corners and it's like really not able to be utilized very well. And then they update it to where they can fix the UI to make it so that it's useful for you while also maintaining the ultra wide monitor support. And we also have a little bit of a preview for Flight 3 when it comes to Reach coming to MCC. Flight 3 is going to be a PvP matchmaking. So we're going to be paying some multiplayer guys, which is going to be fantastic. Uh, you'll, I'm sure a lot of people by that point will be added into the flight program because they're going to need a pretty good size uh, pool of people if they're going to be able to do, test some matchmaking properly. And so, uh, we got that to look forward to as well. When will it happen? I'm assuming sometime in August, probably towards the end of August would be my guess, where my predicted release date of Reach coming to the MCC and PC is sometime in September. My, uh, it could be in middle, beginning. And somewhere in that month, I'm feeling that's kind of like the rough uh, release date. That's just pure speculation, of course, on my end, guys. But uh, I would think you would have to get by September. So yeah, guys, sadly, no Halo Flight 2 happening anytime soon. Maybe not even this week. Maybe next week, though. Again, we just have to wait and see. Uh, the file transfer, guys, just be prepared for that. If you guys have any good maps, let me know in the comment section. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. So you guys, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know if you want to see some more content like this. Are you still, as an Xbox player or 
upset that you're not able to get your hands on this flighting program. I know I am because I wasn't invited to the first one. Hopefully we get involved with the second one, guys. And if you guys want to stay up to date with anything going on with Halo, make sure to tap subscribe here. If you guys like this content and want to see more of it, you can check out the videos on the screen right now. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.